Good morning, Kindle Kids, and welcome to your Tuesday, September 12th, and today happens to be National Chocolate Milkshake Day, and milkshakes are a pretty cool thing. They were actually invented way back at a uh, Walgreens, which is a name you'll probably recognize as a corner drugstore. But a long time ago, back in the 1920s, the uh, Walgreens, actually into the 1950s, uh, Walgreens uh, and a lot of department stores and other drug stores would actually have basically a restaurant inside. They'd have a kind of a diner counter, and they would have burgers and sandwiches and ice cream and soda and all kinds of things like that. And there was a, a soda jerk, which is actually the name of the, the person who would serve you your soda and ice cream and whatnot, uh, by the name of Ivor Coulson, who actually uh, ended up inventing the milkshake, apparently. He was making a chocolate malt, which was basically just kind of like a you know, oval teenish chocolate milk and slapped a little ice cream in there. And all of a sudden we got that milkshake. That chocolate milkshake was the first one. So the missing ingredient for modern milkshakes really is that uh, malted milk powder, which is kind of like this weird barley wheat mixture. And I'm really not sure why people liked it so much other than it's got a distinct flavor if you ever had a malted milk ball. Uh, but, you know, you can still go to ice cream places and say, hey, can I get a chocolate malt? And they will actually oftentimes have this stuff under the counter. They'll add to your milkshake. Um, but anyways, that resulted in one of America's favorite treats, right? I mean, we're talking about Shake Shack or any number of other places that pride themselves in their milkshakes. Um, and nowadays, I mean, you can get these crazy decadent monstrosities. You can just search through any social media and find just outlandish milkshakes that you can get almost anywhere. And one thing I'll mention before I'm done with this whole rant is that uh, there's even a little bit of controversy around the newest technology in milkshakes, which is liquid nitrogen. If you see it in the movies or even on cool science experiments, it has the ability to get things extremely cold extremely fast. And so people are using that to make milkshakes. But be warned, there is a little bit of danger involved in this, which is if they mix your milkshake the wrong way, you can actually burn your mouth, which is, you know, not exactly a great thing. And you might think burn, I mean like burn with cold. So kind of an odd uh, idea right there. Anyways, big talk on milkshakes. Let's find the flag in the room, Ant. Please rise for the flag salute. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. Now you know so much more about milkshakes than you ever wanted to. But anyways, let's talk a little about food for the day, guys. Guess what? We have a PB&J sandwich on the menu along with string cheese stick or a soft taco with salsa. Uh, along with vegetarian beans, baby carrots with dressing, pears, and milk. What's going on with that weather outside? Well, it's going to be a bit of a cloudy, rainy day today. We're looking at rain coming in through the later half of the day, uh, probably giving us a little bit of light saturation, so that kind of nice steady rainfall as the day goes on. There could, there is the potential for a few thunderstorms here and there, but very unlikely uh, the way the weather is shaping up. Tomorrow, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, sunshine and beautiful weather, nice, cool, comfortable, high 60s, low 70s, cannot argue with that. So we got to sacrifice one day to the rains uh, in order to get back to that beautiful sunshine. So don't worry so much about it. The weather will be there in a beautiful way. I do have our very first Kendall canine, but guess what? I absolutely forgot who gave me the photo of this beautiful pug. Uh, I know it was a, a, a female student. Uh, I can't remember who it was. It's killing me. Uh, but I will say that if you do hand me a photo of your pet uh, physically, make sure you jot your name down there on the back or wherever kind of thing. And also the name of your pet. I have no idea what the name of this uh, beautiful pug puppy is, but we're going to have to say uh, that I get a chance now to name him and he's going to be Mr. King Jr. So you're welcome for that. Uh, but I'll find credit for, you know, who gave me this photo tomorrow, hopefully. Anyways, let's finish out our announcements here with the Kendall Mission Statement. The mission of the Kendall Central School District to provide the knowledge, skills, values, and attitudes needed by students to live responsibly and compete successefully in today's and tomorrow's world. Well, I hope you guys have a terrific Tuesday. And if I don't get a chance to see it, remember to stay colorful, Kendall.